Hola, hola. Estoy aquí para explicarles el verbo jugar. We are here today to talk about the verb jugar. Hopefully, even if you are a virtual student, you remember that jugar means to play, and it is to play a game or a sport. So you should either be typing this on the document that I included in Google Classroom, or if you're at home and you have the big paquete de apuntes, you should be there. I think it's probably página 24, 25, maybe pages 24, 25, I'm not sure. All right, so we can look at jugar and we can tell that jugar is an AR verb because it ends in AR. And for the last several weeks, we've been talking about verbs where you've got to do something crazy. We know that step one to conjugate any verb is going, oh no, why, 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 is going to be, let's see if I can fix this. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be, we're gonna drop the AR, Okay, so I'm going to start with hug, which is J-U-G. We are going to then, and by the way, this is not on your notes. If you're using the packet of notes, just write it somewhere out to the side. We're going to add the endings for AR verbs, which we should know are o, as, a, amos, and on. All right, so I would go in, let me go ahead and I'm just going to copy this. So I'm going to start with hug. That's where I've just dropped the AR. That's step one, hoog, 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 hoog. Step two, I'm going to add these endings. O, as, a, amos, and an. And then there is a step three for this verb because it is a stem changing verb. I'm going to have to go in and I'm going to have to add an E. And that happens in all forms except the one it hasn't happened in forever. Nosotros. All right, so in order to get this right, I've got to go in, I've got to add an E. I'm going to capitalize it just so you can see that it's big. I'm going to change it to red, and juego means I play, and that would be a game or a sport. The two form, I've got to add that wrong, wrong, wrong. I've got to go in and I've got to add that E, and that would be huegas, and that would be you informal that you would use with friends play. Like, hey, you play soccer well. Tu juegas al fútbol bien. This one would be huega. Now remember the nosotros form, I'm gonna leave it alone. It's just jugamos, and then ustedes ellos and ellas is juegan. So we get juego, juegas, juega, jugamos, and juegan. Now, some sports that you need to know, if you're in your packet, these aren't in there, so go ahead and write them because you will need them. Football, like the football that we play here is called L, oh, look, I got these letters down here already because you need an accent, and for some reason, I can only find a capital U. It doesn't have to be capital, but it means an accent, L football, Americano. That's football that we play here, like the Super Bowl kind of football. Now, everywhere else in the world calls soccer el football so if you hear somebody talking about el football they're talking about soccer baseball would be l b it's got an accent let me see if i can pull this yes i can el baseball okay golf we love because it's really easy it just happens to be el golf volleyball looks like volleyball pretty much Kind of got a crazy bit of a spelling. It is el volleyball. Tennis is el tennis with one N. So basically you can tell that these words are all cognates. They all sound like the word, look like the word, and they mean the word. So we've got el football americano, el football, el baseball, el golf, el volleyball, el tenis, and there's a whole lot more. But what you need to notice is all of these sports that you say I play, like I play soccer, I play tennis, I play golf, are all masculine. It's going to be really important for us here in a minute. So if you want to say I play football, we go up and we're going to pull the juego. We know the yo is optional. And normally, if you're talking about a sport, like I play whatever, you use an ah. It doesn't mean at, it doesn't mean to, it doesn't mean anything. You got to have it. You'll probably forget it. And then you use the L. And since it's going to be soccer, it would be football. So, Wego L football. Now, what I want to show you today is this. 
any time in Spanish you have an a ah and it's right next to an l where the l doesn't mean he it means the no accent you're going to have to combine those two words they contract together and they give you al doesn't have to be capital obviously but i'm just throwing that in there so juego al football if the team plays tennis the team is el equipo Team is singular, not on the list, so I'm gonna go with Wega. I don't know why in the world I did not highlight that E. Let me put it in there, Wega. So El Equipo, Wega, gotta have an A ah, because you're saying somebody or something plays something. Tennis is El Tennis, and that looks perfect, except if you have A plus L, where L doesn't mean he, Wega Al. Tennis. So we have jugar to play a sport or a game. You have to go in and add that E in every form except for nosotros. We have our lista de deportes. We know they're all masculine. We know if you're saying someone or something plays a sport, you use your form of jugar and then A plus L is going to give you al and then your sport. All right. Holler at me if you have questions. Adios.